Welcome to a lesson on modifiers. Now, modifiers, let's start with a quick definition, are just a group of words that describes a noun. And when you see modifiers on the SAT, they're going to appear generally at the beginning of a sentence, followed by the noun that they're describing. And most likely, you'll find them on the improving sentences questions in the writing section. Now, to make that more concrete, let's look at some examples. So here's our first example of a modifier used correctly. Now, this part right here, delightfully sweet, is a modifier. Like we said earlier, a modifier is just a group of words describing a noun. And delightfully sweet is a very small group, just two words, but it's a group of words describing a noun. And the noun that it describes immediately follows. That's the cupcakes. And this modifier is used correctly because, sure enough, Delightfully sweet does describe the cupcakes. But we can have a very similar sentence that uses modifiers improperly. And so let me show you what a wrong answer choice on the SAT would be. A wrong answer choice that uses modifiers wrong. That's right here. Delightfully sweet, the bakery sold out of cupcakes within 30 minutes. Now, this might sound OK to your ear, but in SAT land, it's not OK because it uses modifiers wrong. Let's have a look. The modifier is still delightfully sweet. And that modifier describes the noun that follows, the bakery. As you can imagine, the bakery is not delightfully sweet, so this is, would be a wrong answer choice on the SAT. Let's look at the second of our three examples now. Having cleaned everything thoroughly, Rebecca admired her spotless home. Now, yet again, the modifier starts the sentence, and it describes the noun that immediately follows. So the modifier is having cleaned everything thoroughly, and that describes Rebecca, because indeed Rebecca cleaned everything thoroughly. That one's fine. Let's look at a really similar sentence using modifiers improperly. Having cleaned everything thoroughly, Rebecca's home was spotless. The modifier is the same here, but instead of describing Rebecca, it now describes Rebecca's home. And that's not gonna work, because Rebecca's home didn't do any cleaning. So this would be, an incorrect answer choice on the SAT. Third example. As the first female president of the ACLU, Nadine Strawson is a remarkable woman. Now, can you figure out the modifier and can you figure out the noun that it is describing? You should know by now that this is the modifier and this is the noun it's describing. So, as the first female president of the ACLU is describing Nadine Strawson, and that's right, that is Nadine Strawson. But let's look at a similar version of the same sentence that's not correct. As the first female president of the ACLU, many people consider Nadine Strassen a remarkable woman. Same modifier, but a different noun being described. So this sentence is actually saying that many people were the first president of the ACLU, and that's just not true. So this is also an answer choice that would be incorrect. So, now it's time for you to try. If a sentence started outlawed during the prohibition, what would be a good noun to follow that modifier? What does outlawed during the prohibition describe? Well, let's start out with what it's not. A bad way to start the sentence would be outlawed during the prohibition, people nonetheless consumed alcohol frequently. This is the modifier and it's describing people. But as you may recall, people were not outlawed during the prohibition, rather it was